Soso advanced his army to Josu as the first step to unifying all of Mauritia. However, Ryubi halted his invasion of Josu. Both the heroes desired peace, but were opposed to each other's methods. Phantom of Terror. <laughs> what about Ryubi? Thanks to his actions, he's now our enemy. My ambition remains unchanged. As a result of Totaku being out of the picture, many parts of Marisha have been annexed, and war will remain commonplace for a long time to come. The people will have no peace. We have to succeed in our attempts at unifying Marisha. And I know I'm the only one who can accomplish this task. We're with you to the very end. Yes, but we're gonna need much more power than we have to attain total unification. If only we could have seized it the last time around. What? Yes, don't you remember the battle at the fort? The Holy Seal, the Celestial Armor. Right. <laughs> power of such magnitude would work to fulfill our lord's ambitions. But you must remember, the celestial armor vanished along with Ryofu after that. <clears throat> it's too powerful. Huh? <clears throat> Jokul. I don't recall seeing the explosion, but we all remember the result. The celestial armor is too powerful, and it'll destroy every one of us. Be silent! You were once with Tojaku! Yes, but he's with us now, brother, because of his talents. Our Lord and I asked him to join. But enough! It doesn't matter how powerful the celestial armor may have been, the fact is it's gone. <sighs> hmm. He makes a valid point. The land could be unified. Mm. However, I believe that Lord Soso is incapable of summoning the armor. All right, and why do you feel that way? We're alone in here, so don't hesitate to speak your mind freely, my pupil. Yes. It's written in the G records that the only ones who can summon the Celestial Armor are the successors to the Three Sovereigns, right? First is Ryubi, with the Imperial Dragon Sword. Sun Saku, next, with the Tiger Saber. And last, the one who actually summoned the armor, Ryofu. So it becomes logical to say that Lord Soso can't be one of the successors, correct? That's why he can't summon it. That may not be the case. What? You believe Ryofu to be a successor to one of the sovereigns given what happened. However, I have reasons to question this presumption you've made here. Please enlighten me. Describe to me the three forms that the Celestial Armor may assume. Dragon, Tiger, and Phoenix. This is because the Sovereigns themselves were such beings. So what about the form the armor took at the fort? Black Tortoise. Oh, I see. So if the Celestial Armor descends, when it's been summoned by the Holy Seal, then it possesses a fourth form. Maybe. But a Black Tortoise descended upon Ryofu. So that makes it clear. He simply can't be a successor to any of the Sovereigns. Then... Who could the third successor be? <sighs> Believe me, I'd like to know. Above us! Ugh, oh, the wall! the explosion I'm gonna finish you off wait listen he may just have the celestial armor on him 
so there's no point in launching a reckless attack, all right? He'll level this place. You're a guest I never expected. So what brings you here? <laughs> Let me guess, you've come up from the netherworld so you can take me back with you, correct? Sorry, but I have to decline. I have some ambitions that need fulfilling. Strike. You're definitely him. I'm no longer the same Ryof. I have a much greater power. <laughs> really? You must want me pretty bad. <laughs> 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 If he wanted to summon it, he would have done so by now. Both the seal and the armor left my hands long ago. Oh. My hunger won't be satisfied by using such trinkets! I seek to unify the land of Marisha, and nobody will get in my way until I've accomplished this! Unify. <laughs> You draw your strength from such a useless goal! No. He possesses a new technique? Hurricane! Blast! Crimson Lotus Slash! technique of yours can stay my ambitions, so don't waste your time! <laughs> it's a bad move to underestimate me. You're right, though. Taking your head now is just not worth my time. Solidify your skills, so-so. Enough to satisfy my hunger. Ryofu, who... Is he? <laughs> I now serve someone who desires So-So's head on a pole. No. 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 Yeah. What's this? Butterflies? No. Is that... Oh. His unit! I see you serve so so now, Gyoko. Hm. Dogs find your masters quickly. You all survived the explosion? <laughs> Our lives belong to Ryofu. As long as he persists, so will we. <clears throat> we will meet again, so so. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe he survived. So then, if he doesn't have the Holy Seal and armor, then who in the world does? Well, whoever does is gonna wreak some havoc. Listen to me, there's no need to be afraid. No matter how powerful they get, our power levels will be higher. Even if a sacrifice must be made to get there, we have to become the mightiest force to attain our goal of unification. It doesn't matter what obstacles we face. My will is the will of the heavens! Yes, we're with you. Your conviction gives us confidence. My lord, we'll stand by you! My lord is absolute. If we had to determine a successor based on his qualities, then would you not agree? 
that he could be the one. I would. Still, this is not good. Someone wants his life. Who does Ryofu serve now? Sangokuden Brave Battle Warriors, a new world.